we doing? What are we talking about? What are you talking yeah. about? You were saying something. You watched the Winter Falcon. The Winter Falcon. The Winter Falcon. The Winter, the Winter Falcon. Falcon Soldier. Yeah. So, oh. uh, <laughs> yeah. So th- we're, this week we're doing other uh, pop culture headlines. Okay. So that's what we're doing to properly introduce it. We can do uh, that. Up. that ain't yeah, getting there you go. That. Watch that show. The end. Yep. No, so I watched that on this week. I think we all saw it, the, the mm-hmm. premiere episode. We did. I watched uh, it this evening, actually, yep. Very good. We're not going to get into spoilers and all that, but definitely some interesting things here. So I thought it was very well done. The first few minutes of the Falcon on that military uh, mission yes. was yeah. pretty awesome. I mean, That's it was badass. A shot you out of a cannon at the beginning of the of the show. So, yeah, and that was that was. Uh, to get to see the Falcon in full uh, battle mode. Falcon mode, mode yes. Falcon yeah. mode, right, and all the gadgets and, and everything that he had was very, very cool. Uh, I like the, you know, uh, Bucky, you know, again, without getting into details, he has to, uh, you know, deal with his past, which is uh, very good. I thought it humanized him pretty well. And for the Falcon himself, uh, very like interesting... Go I ahead. liked how it got it kind of into his uh, family life a little bit. You know what I mean? It, 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 yeah, like it yes. answered a couple questions that right. I think a lot of people have. Like, how do superheroes make money? They literally asked that question to him. Like, right. how and do you answer, make right. money? And the answer was, he, they don't make Goodwill. money. Goodwill. <laughs> right. And right. it was like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was, um, yeah. You, you wondered if they had a, some type of a government stipend like or a something fund. like yeah. that. And they never, like you say, they never got into it. And actually, no, they don't make any money from doing that. They just do it for the good of mankind or whatever it is. And they have to make a living somehow, some way. And he's trying to help his family and all I that like stuff. That so that was like, wow, yeah, that was yeah. very interesting. Yeah. I I also like how they explained. And once again, it happens within the first few minutes that they say it. So it's not really a spoiler. Mm-hmm. Um, it, But it explains How Bucky could just kill all these people and be like, oh, get back into society. You're all right. Right. But they right. explain you know, they explain that he's a, he has a conditional pardon. Right. He has to deal with it. Right. He has to deal with it mentally. And he's he's, you know, all that stuff. So, By the yeah. government has a few things as mm-hmm. in making amends with people. And right. I don't know yeah. if that was the government's issue. I might, that might be more of the. um Psychological treatment. thing that he has to yeah. yeah treatment that he has to mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. I uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, Montreal's finest uh, George Saint Pierre in the show. That was that was cool. Did you guys notice that? No, uh, who was it? He's the guy on the on the uh, on the ship there in the begin or on the um, plane or the copter or whatever. Oh no shit, was that him? That was GSP. Yeah, I looked oh, and I was shit. like, that guy really looks like George Saint Pierre. And then I'm like. And then I, came, I listened to him talk, and I kept seeing him, and I'm like, no, that is him. Yeah. And Are I looked it up. And it, okay. I, I, yeah, I All looked right. it up. It is him. Yep. Yep. That's yeah, cool. So that was cool. Um, I also, <laughs> I'm so dumb, but I was like, I think it's neat that he has like a carrying case for the shield. <laughs> he had like yeah. a brief, get like a zippered uh, case to carry the well, shield. Well, no, no, no. But, but cool. you're, that, that's, he got it, but from, it, was, it was old from Captain America. Right. Old, old Cap, that's what he brought it. Um, oh, he had that, that bench. Yeah, he unzipped it, and that's when oh, he gave it to Oh, okay. Him. All right. Yeah, he got the okay. case from Old Cap. Okay. okay. Which um, I have to assume is going to make some sort of cameo in this uh, in Cap? the series. Yeah. I, I would say at least I would in a guess. flashback. Well, they've done those. Th- they, they've yeah. done flashbacks of him sitting on the bench. Because... The uh, the <clears throat> Russo brothers uh, did an interview, and they had admitted to that Cap wasn't always sitting there. They're saying that that old Cap is from a different um, a different multiverse, a different timeline. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he didn't just kind of wander on to, into the park and, and kind of watch them do all that, watch himself leave. At least that's my understanding of what they were talking about. But they said he's. That old cap is from different multiverse. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. They can do whatever well, they want. The yeah, yeah, really. I mean, yeah. yeah. When you when you're playing around with timelines and multiverses, you really have to um, you have to forgive a lot of stuff. You have to kind of just let the story lie sometimes. 
mm-hmm. because I was watching Infinity Wars uh, the other day. Or no, no, no. Yeah. Um, and when they go and they kill Thanos, right? Mm-hmm. After the snap, they, they, they go and find him. He's in his uh, bungalow. Well, and they chop his head off, right? Spoiler alert. Uh, and then, <laughs> from a different timeline, mm-hmm. he comes in and and wreaks havoc, right? Mm-hmm. And, once again, spoiler alert, at the very end of the uh, endgame, they make him disappear. He floats away, right? Shouldn't that have dis that shouldn't that ended everything else? The snap wouldn't have happened. Nobody would have died because Thanos wouldn't have been there to do all that. Yeah. Right? Am I right? I mean, yeah. in theory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see yeah, what you're the, saying. But, but the alternate timelines and everything. Right. Else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why sometimes that uh, that was my point is sometimes you just got to go. Yeah. Because of story. Right. Yeah. We're, we're we're trying to explain how a cosmic being made half the population right. disappear and bring bring them back and yeah try to overthink it because of birthstones, right? Exactly. <laughs> yep. And there, I, I like how the the Falcon series. They yeah, this is a, a comic book. They, they again another one. It looks like they're going to. They're definitely using the source material well. Mm-hmm. You know, so there was a comic book ahead. series of these two together, or like, or no? No, what I mean is, uh, in the comic book series, I mean it was a thing where Falcon had to determine to take on the mantle of Captain oh, America. Okay. And this you mean storyline in general? Okay. Storyline in general, and then he did yeah. become Captain America for a while in the comics, and they also introduced again. This is this is out there. It's not spoiling anything, but they introduce uh, the. You know, Kurt Russell's son, actually, Wyatt, the Wyatt, well, yeah, Wyatt Russell, named after Wyatt Earp, I guess, I'm assuming, Dean. Mm, that makes sense. Tombstone, right? Sure. Uh, is uh, the guy that plays U.S. Agent. So U.S. Agent in the comics was another uh, soldier. I think he, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He had some type of enhancements. I don't know if he exactly had this, he didn't have this quite, I don't know if he had the same super soldier serum where they replicated it somehow whatever it was but you talking the, about at the end the well, not necessarily the, i don't want we don't want to spoil anything but it's that the, but basically it, it's not a big secret that there's another captain america captain right. america right. out there right so right. It's, that's kind of the, the government right. is putting out a captain america correct right, right? and we don't know the way the way that the, the hat and the suit looks it kind of looks like Propaganda, the way they tried to do originally. Right, right. Uh, the very the cheesy. And also, if you notice, he's also carrying a gun. Which yeah. Kept, you know, Steve never carried a gun. Right. And then the 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 suit uh, looks similar to what they use U.S. Agent in the comics. It had sort of the stripe and the star right. and stuff like that. So, yeah. So he was around for. I, I don't know if he's still around the comics or not, but he was a prevalent character in the Captain America universe for quite a while. So he. He was Captain America for a while, then he became U.S. agent, and uh, you know he was around for quite a while. He was in different Avenger groups and things like that. So he was not the same man as Captain America. He was more rough and stuff like that. You know, he's not Steve Rogers, but you know he was a a good guy for a while. I guess I have to look it up to see if he's even still around. But anyways, I thought all that was interesting. So well, it, well done. The, Go ahead. At the end, they had a lot of uh, uh like in the credit scene. Mm-hmm. Not a po- there's not a post credit scene, but when they're in doing the credits, it, there's like they're panning a wall with different uh, paintings and and pictures and stuff like you you would um graffiti or you know they paste posters up like in the 40s mm-hmm. and a lot of those were having showing either people if you look closely there's people's names in the background and some of them were some of the bad guys from the actual comics. Okay. All right. That's From cool. both um, Winter Soldier comics and uh, uh, the Falcon, you know. Type. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Very so it good. shows some people that are that'll probably be the big bad. Yeah. Then there was a villain, kind of a mystery villain. You don't know who he was. You know. Uh, you know. They looks like he is going to be Baron Zemo coming back. Uh, well, Baron Zemo will come back. It's not a big secret. You can sure. see it on online. But Baron Zemo will come back. We don't know 
if it's the same guy or not, if he's been introduced yet or not to us, we're not exactly or who sure. Is, but. Or who was the guy in the park? Right. That picked that's the right. dude up and yeah, yeah, you know, without spoiler because that's kind of a yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to say, but uh, who's that guy? Yeah, I mean, right. Or what is that guy? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, certainly WandaVision, which we'll come back to talk about here next. And this, I mean, so far so good for Marvel TV. Yeah, I mean, we, for this for this show, I was telling Dean earlier. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I didn't really have a, a, an interest. I'm like, I don't know, what, you know, if they're just gonna start putting random people together or how this is gonna work. But I'm like, I don't know that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier necessarily draw a lot of interest for me. So, but I watched it and I I really enjoyed the show. I liked it a yeah. lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, kudos to them. I'm, you know, I'm like I. It's not a lot of, I don't know what kind of demand there is for <laughs> this duo, but I mean, yeah, I found the first episode interesting. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so far so good. I mean, it's such a different take on the Marvel superhero. You know what I mean? You have, on yeah. the WandaVision side, you have this supernatural, campy at times, you know, look to it. And then this you have in the Marvel verse, uh, Re- the realistic side, you know what I mean? The the cops mm-hmm. and robbers and yeah. bad guys and agents. You know, WandaVision, you're looking at sorcerers and witches and ghouls and whatnot. Right. So yeah, definitely, Marvel's, definitely sorry. two sides. Definitely yeah, two for sides sure. Of it. For sure. And Marvel's been doing a good job, even in the movies, uh, in, again, uh, humanizing these characters. I mean, you go back and look through right. some of these movies. I mean, a lot of them, as I go back and even reflect felt a lot of pain and grief, you know, we, a lot of them, you know, yeah. well, they're Captain flawed. America. Yeah, exactly right. Captain Which America. Which makes them relatable. Yeah, yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, because, I mean, light, sorry. two of the three of us are, are, are flawed human beings. That's right. So, I mean, so it's very relatable. That's right. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. So kudos, Marvel. We'll keep watching. If you keep putting stuff out like this, uh, we'll keep watching and keep uh, paying our subscriptions to uh, Disney Plus for sure. So, right. I would say another yeah. thing that Marvel seems to be doing a really good job of is uh, kind of blurring the lines between uh, cinematic and TV. Like uh, as yes. far as the production, like you could very mm-hmm. well like I was watching the very opening scene where the Falcons flying through the air. And, yeah, that's you know, a movie. Just, and I'm like, this sure. is motion picture quality like absolutely oh, yeah. for sure i mean you know just and i mean i guess we'll get in more into it but i feel like that's something that it, for example i mean i guess it helps when you have disney money but dc does not do that <laughs> with no. their movies like the, okay it's not even in the same universe one thing i just found out um when uh snyder went back and and redid the justice league which we won't really talk about because Not all of us have seen all of it. Uh, But one thing he went and did is he 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 cropped the screen and did the 16.1, I believe, or something like that. Instead Mm -hmm. of the expanded like theater thing, he met he purposely did that because most he said most superheroes are flying up and down. And he wanted to capture that comic book panel feel to it. So mm-hmm. instead of doing this, he went here so they could, you know, you know, close up. And I, I know we're doing audio also, so I got to stop using my hands. <laughs> um, but instead of the the wide span of the the um, the cinematic picture, he mm-hmm. went to more of like a closer in to the sides. Yeah. It's giving you more length on the screen than width, basically. Right, because yeah. he said he had because like Superman and, and Wonder Woman, they fly up and down, and just like the panels in a comic book, he wanted right. to kind of capture that feel to it. Okay, with, with this uh, Justice League. All right, we'll talk about. I'd be interested to get our opinions if the Marvel TV series was more entertaining than the <laughs> four-hour. Justice League. I, guess we'll find I think out. I already have my verdict on that, but we'll. we'll I'll, 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 I'll give it. Yeah. I'll give it the. I'll. We'll see. I'm the only one that, that, that saw the four hours. You, yeah. Okay, never mind. I, we'll wait. Yeah. Next week. We'll wait. We'll wait. Next, uh, by that we'll time, we will have all three in, seen in four all four weeks hours. when you guys yeah. are done. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> next next week. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, any more thoughts on Falcon and Winter Soldier? I just Inter- other, yeah. my my final verdict is it started uh, and is better than I was expecting. 
So mm. I'm pretty happy. Good. Same. I think I expected, and I don't know, maybe it will turn into something like that, but when I saw, I watched the trailer for it initially and thought, mm-hmm. this kind of looks like a buddy cop thing, or is that what this is going to be? Like a, you know, that kind I'd of kind of be okay with that. And maybe it will be, but I, I, I definitely liked the pilot episode more than I expected as someone that I'm like, I don't really have any, you know, attachment to either one of these characters. I bet, you know, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Yeah. Good. All right. What so, about you, well, Brian? I, I highly recommend. Yeah, it was, okay. We were, we were very entertained. Absolutely. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, since we're on the Marvel uh, comic book type deals, I sent you guys the link uh, via our group text. How do we feel that possibly Robert Downey Jr. could be uh, being added to the Star Wars universe yeah. uh, via their TV series? Yeah. Very interesting. I'm, I like I'm, it. I'm excited. I like it. It's like, uh, you know, they, they maybe play a villain, which I think yeah, he'd Thrawn, be great at. I believe Thrawn would be, would be a yeah. gr- he'd be a great Thrawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I'm all for that. If it's well on that, he gets a chance to work with uh, Favreau again. I think that's yes. appealing as well. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah. I'm down for that. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, guys. It's uh, why don't we take a breath here? Take a little take break. a pause for the cause. Take, take a pause for the cause. Uh, and, uh, 